Let's take you to Abuja, where we have Dr. Chuk Sironkre. He's a medical laboratory scientist. He joins us from Abuja Studios. Welcome to the program. Doctor, Nigeria is experiencing more infections from COVID-19, and we understand that week on week in, testing is increasing, nearing 100,000, uh, the samples tested across the country. But what more can we do to ramp up testing since uh, we've been told that as much people as we test, uh, we get closer to our peak and closer to curbing the virus? Yeah. Uh, thank you for having me. It is true that uh, NCDC has um, really, really improved the, on the number of um, testing. Uh, but it's not just about testing. Uh, quite a lot needs to be done um, while you test. Uh, even as I speak to you, I want to say that the testing within the community is still we've not still had enough. Uh, by the time you get to a community, you discover that uh, very few people come out for testing. So uh, as regards to testing, uh, Nigeria, the NCDC needs to do more as to the number of people they test per community. And that is the only way you can get the true numbers. Uh, the numbers we are getting now, I'm sorry to say, may not represent truly uh, what um, we truly have. And it goes to show that uh, we are only breeding or incubating people within communities who would definitely, at the end of the day, transmit this virus to those who are vulnerable. And uh, that is the danger we may be facing as a country. You say testing should increase community level. So paint a picture of what you expect in terms of um, sample collection centers. How much should we have in each community amongst these 774 local government areas? Yes, I expect um, engagement. And um, what is missing between those who are collecting the sample, the NCDC who is organizing sample collection and testing is communication. Uh, most times when you get to the community, you discover that there is a communication gap. Uh, people don't seem to understand why they should submit themselves for testing. And um, it is key also to note here that while you test, it is important for you to present alongside the palliatives uh, it's a strategy I felt the government didn't really do well. Uh, of course, you had, we had a lockdown, and during this lockdown, it's expected that people would be tested and you are handed over palliatives. But those who are testing currently on ground will tell you that the major complaint is that most people really come out to look out for palliatives before they submit themselves for testing. And uh, there is no, we have not seen that synergy between distribution of palliatives and the uh, actual collection of samples. So that, of course, have reduced the numbers and uh, we, there's need to do something about it. The presidential task force has said that states need to own the fight uh, to curbing the pandemic. Um, so they have a role to play, but in your assessment, what do you make of some of their approaches to curbing COVID-19? Uh, first, I, I would want to say that um, states should not respond uh, to uh, panic. Uh, we are seeing a lot of panic response, and that is a major factor affecting uh, the whole exercise. And of course, states also should be, also should, should be responsible and uh, keep to their words as to payments of the frontline uh, front health workers. And there should be confidence that um, by the time I'm submit, submitting myself uh, as a frontline worker, I should get my pay at the end of the day. But uh, we're not seeing this in the various states. 
so there is there is there is a break in the synergy between field workers and their employers and i want to call on uh, states to uh, live up to expectation and um, pay to those who are actually doing this work and most of them uh, we have gathered that they go to their various houses at the end of the day and that is not supposed to be those who have contacted the virus are in isolation centers have been promised to to get certain allowances we understand also they have not been paid and you so you know this goes a long way to show that uh, to bridge there's no trust between those actually doing the collection doing the testing and uh, their employees. So also, the communities would not want to submit themselves to this testing. And when you get there, you discover very few people would come out to submit themselves for testing, and that is not good enough. And I want to tell you that about 50% of, uh, of the population in the various communities come out to be positive and this is not good. It shows that we are only having breeding grounds uh, for people who will transmit this virus to those who are vulnerable. And uh, right. those who are vulnerable at the, at the end of the day will have to bear the brunt of uh, the, this deadly virus. We'd like to thank you uh, for lending your voice to this important issue. Dr. Chu Sironkwe, medical laboratory scientist, uh, joining us from Abuja. Thank you.